Good stage, probably PS2. PS2, good stage. I think it's a, a pretty neutral stage mm -hmm. for this type of matchup. Definitely. Yeah, and definitely. Yep. We're going go. PS2. right in there. And yeah, right already, Brett looking to start things out, just covering the screen in hitboxes. Oop, that's a lost jump. But uh, Air Dodge is going to get Brett back in. Yeah, right now, Brett taking a lot of damage from Sonic Fiend, who's just kind of waiting him out, waiting for him to use that boomerang of his. And just, yeah, all kinds of things in boomerang, just waiting it out. Yeah, F Tilt was another uh, mm -hmm. move I was thinking of, uh, you know, having such huge active frames. All right, Boomerang actually not going to be getting Sonic Fiend, or er, Brett, not going to be getting Brett much space uh, while Sonic Fiend is charging. Because, yeah, it just goes right yeah. through it. So, you know, it's going right have through. To, yeah, so he's going to change a it. Bit there. Yeah, definitely has to adapt, try to figure out something else. That boomerang is just simply not working against Sonic Fiend. He's going to keep uh, spin dashing and it's just going to go right through him. And Sonic Fiend is going to take that to advantage and really just going with that force. Now, taking that, fo that first stock from Brett very easily. Yep, catching that uh, air dodge to the ground. Brett utilizing the Master Sword laser. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think that would have killed. Ooh, that is oh, going to kill, that will kill though. Uh, forward air. All right, and finally, uh, on second stock, both players, Brett finally pulling out the remote bomb, uh, something that I would think would be fairly crucial in this matchup, because, you know, it's somewhat like Snake C4 in that, you know, it just sort of uh, covers that ground in a way that it's a threat even while Brett isn't exploding. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it would be very useful to stop Sonic in his tracks, like with his spin dash and when he's charging it up, just activate it. Because he hasn't activated it yet, it's gone now, I believe. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, really useful if had had he activated that uh, Link's uh, bomb, but it's just not working out for him. I mean, maybe it is because now Sonic Fiend at 69 percent, Brett only at 30 uh, percent. Brett really trying to find out a way to get this those four tilts and this uh, this smash attack going for him, to maybe to finish off the stock. Yeah, I will say that was great adaptation by Brett on mm -hmm. that last ledge interaction. Sonic Fiend was going high quite a bit, and Brett's finally started uh, catching it out with the up airs. And finally, also using Link's bow and arrow. Oh, but Sonic Fiend out here just trying to close it out, trying to make it a little more even back to neutral. Yeah, Sonic Fiend tried to find the second stock the same way he found the first by catching the air dodge to the ground, but Brett not biting a second time. Yeah, once again, Brett just isn't gonna isn't gonna fall for that. Absolutely not. Brett trying to space it out a little bit, trying to read what to do. Uh, really trying to go for that up there. Some sneaky spring shenanigans. Mm -hmm. All right, F-Tilt going to be putting Brett off stage. And you can see how Sonic Fiend also already adapted, trying to keep himself a little more closer to uh, to Brett to avoid those boomerangs and avoid the projectiles from Link. Oh, but kind of just <laughs> staying a little bit stationary with, with a spin dash. Yeah, the bomb uh, oh, that's is a little bit too much of a threat, but their back air going to be mm -hmm. taking Brett's second stock. But again, still a pretty close game. One hit from Link, uh, a four smash, an up air, uh, up B from Link could really just finish it out and make this back to make it making an even game. Oh no, that would have been oh. the, that would have been the stock. And Sonic Fiend gets another chance to, you know, go back and forth and just do what Sonic does: sit at the other end and charge. There we oh, go. Great. Finally, though, the um, the no charge uh, spin dash, uh, not going to be able to cross Brett up, and he was ready with that up B. So only 49% on Brett, uh, so, you know, certainly still in this. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, now Sonic Fiend is really trying to close it out, just knowing that he can possibly take the stock right now. Oh, missing that forward smash. And Great Brett using gloves down to really make sure he doesn't get hit by another Sonic combo. It's boring, just not, not helping so much. Yeah, the booming has to go. It is not helping. If anything, it is just giving Sonic Fiend the leeway to actually be able to get in, use that spin dash in order to go into the combo. Just Ooh. like, oh, that would have been it had he gotten that. Sonic Fiend was just spaced a little bit better. Uh, he, you know, he sniffed out that, um, I think it was Boomerang that Brett used. Mm -hmm. He was just went right under it, but wasn't able to connect. God. Coming down yeah. there. Again, that boomerang is just, it's just an indication of Sonic Fiend how, how the distance. Great parry from him trying to use that as a leeway into Sonic and uh, Spin Dash. Ooh, okay. On the rebound, though, catching Sonic Fiend charging. I don't think he's activated that bomb once. Please, uh, right I don't now. I think so. 
Oh. He's uh, just kind of been keeping it as a trap, but yeah, right there, he wanted to reset it, but I really feel like he hasn't gotten much out of it. Up he got a shield, putting Sonic King off stage. Not going to be able to find the bomb there. Could be anyone's first game at the moment. He's spamming that. Oh, oh he air yuck. dodged in. That'll take the first game for, for Brett. Whew. Great awareness by Brett. Um, mm -hmm. You know, knowing that after after Sonic, you know, homing attacks your shield, he's not in the greatest of positions, and Sonic Fiend opted opted for the uh, the air dodge in to sort of get out of it. But Brett was ready. Game one going to Brett. Mm -hmm. I really thought the game looked like it was it was in Sonic Fiend's favor, especially because he was he was able to just uh, go and avoid all of these projectiles like the boomerang and the arrows and especially that bomb that was never even activated in the first place. I think it was more of a trap, like you said, mm -hmm. just to psych him out a little bit, make sure not to go near the bomb and go where Brett wants him to go. But now taking it over in the second game. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be taking over to Town and City for Sonic Fiend's counter pick, which I completely agree with. Going to be giving Sonic Fiend a lot more room to run around mm -hmm. in and, you know, really maneuver around uh, Brett's projectiles. And also, you know, it's such a great stage for Sonic because of how well Sonic can kill off the sides. Mm -hmm. Agree, those side platforms are really going to help uh, really like, finish off a lot of his combos right now, but now they're gone. And now it's more like an Omega stage at the moment. But hopefully that if it's like this, it'll be more into Brett's favor. I want to say that was a really good uh, homing attack by Sonic Fiend to make his way over the uh, remote bomb that Brett had Z-dropped. Now, now Brett should be careful with these side platforms. Sonic Fiend's clearly leaning, leaning towards the ledge and throws those end platforms, trying to trap Brett into them and get into a combo and po possibly take out his first stock. It's too far away to get that forest smash into taking his first stock, though. Ooh, the late down air, though. Are we getting Brett some more space? The remote bomb is, you know, it really just, oh wait. Oh okay. no. Great Brett idea by Brett, ready. but not uh, not able to get the timing quite right. I really like the use of the remote bomb on that platform there. we go. There. Really uh, using the town and city platform to kind of mix up the timing of when the bomb's gonna be in that threat zone. And uh, it was just enough to catch Sonic King off guard. First stock going to Brett. Wow, I just wanna, I just wanna like, say how Brett was able to use both the boomerang and the bomb in order to make sure the Sonic King cannot go on the ground and to read that jump and use that boomerang to just stop him in the middle of his spin dash. Great add to, add, 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 add that ability. <laughs> Sonic Fiend uh, trying to use the space of Town and City to, you know, try and compose himself, uh, you know, not run into the Link so much, but, you know, 152, that's quite a bit of rage, and Link, Link hits pretty hard, mm -hmm. so there we go, back air, gonna be taking Brett's first stock, no, rage is off the table. Yeah, had rage still been on, had he not lost that first stock, he, his forward smash, his tilts would have been just so much more powerful when that up of his also just deadly for Sonic Fiend at 74% right now. But unfortunately now that he's back at 31%, it's just not going to be enough to kill. No. I think we can uh, kind of start to see Sonic Fiend maybe getting a little bit frustrated with the matchup. I mean, we just saw there, uh, he kind of just ran into like two or three boomerangs in a row. He's getting. He's, he, may, he might be. He might start be starting to get desperate. You know, or at least close out this game and make it go to game three. Mm -hmm. So it give him another chance to, you know, finish it out and really secure his win. However, Brett is just being paid. It's the patience. He's being patient, waiting for Sonic Fiend to do his spin dash and knock him out of it with either boomerang or his uh, or the bomb. Yeah, and I mean, it's like I said at the start of the set. It's really on Sonic Fiend to be able to pick and choose his <gasps> battles. That was not that a battle you wanted to pick. Oh. He, even Sonic Fiend. Sonic wasn't. Fiend just made a face and a hand gesture. It was like, whoa, what the heck, dude? <laughs> that slow bouncing bomb, such a threat. And that was actually a pretty uh, oh, dangerous okay. uh, spin charge right there, because the you know the bomb was right there, but it did work out for Sonic Fiend. You know, taking Brett's second stock real quick. Uh, even stocks, Sonic Fiend only has one percent. Again, that top, as you can see, that platform just just was completely in, in, uh, in Sonic Fiend's favor. The way he was able to like, juggle him in the air and just completely take off his stock and make this game back to being an even game. Anyone's game, of course. But I feel like Sonic Fiend is doing being a little bit too, um, just uh, trying to approach too much because he's really trying to get this game over with. There we go, looking to punish that back air, but not going to be able to find it. 
So I mean, charging a spin dash, trying to attack him. But Brett, again, Brett is like, allowing himself to get hit by these spin dashes. He was, that he was at once being patient and waiting uh, to, for them to either be over or stop them in their tracks. But right now, he has to be careful with Sonic being on that top platform on the side. Oof. Ooh, look, looking for the instant dash attack. Find that. There we go. Spin chart or spin dash going to be punishing that dash grab. Brett has to use his uppy to get back to stage. I think I'd be careful with trying to get Sonic in the air. Could definitely clip you with the up air. Mm -hmm. There we go. And yeah, this is what we wanted to see is, you know, Sonic King picking those battles, especially because, you know, Boomerang's a great active hitbox. Oh, that was almost death. I think an F tilt could have took it. I, th I believe so. Oh, just patiently waiting in the air for Brett to speak to seconds out a little bit. His, his own version of the, the remote bomb just sucking his opponent out. That boomerang will not be able to stop out his spin dash, but that was a great... I think back throw will do it, especially oh. with Town and City. Yep. That'll do it. Whew. Hard fought victory for Sonic Fiend, getting him to a game three. Oh my god. I mean, the aggressive. I mean, usually when players start going aggressive into their matchups, it might be something in, in vain. But Sonic Fiend clearly is just not allowing that to happen. Even though he was being aggressive and really going in first with a lot of his attack, his spin dashes, he was able to close out that game beautifully. Especially when he was able to even it out the very last thought for both players. Oof. All right, let's see what Brett's counter pick is going to be. Sonic Fiend has banned Battlefield and Lilat, leaving a lot of stages with, you know, plenty of space. As you should. <laughs> <laughs> Lilat. Yeah, it looks like Small Battlefield is going to be uh, Brett's hmm. counter pick of choice. This might... Small Battlefield is very similar to PS2 in terms of the platform placement, but just the base platform is, of course, a little bit smaller than PS2. So this might be in Brett's favor if he can work to his advantage of being a little more patient with uh, Sonic spin, uh, Sonic Fiend's spin dashes and his um, his air juggles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw right there that platform actually mm -hmm. uh, giving Brett a little bit of a shield from the homing attack. I love when uh, Link's neutral air their bomb, just give it a little kick. Just boop. I think that was that was something I saw in the. Um, like before the game even came out and I already loved it. I loved watching Lynx do fun bomb stuff. I mean, not, I mean speaking of fun bomb stuff, I'm glad Bryce actually using that bomb to his advantage, the remote bomb, in order to either psych out Sonic Fiend or actually detonate it. Two, using that. Two great catches in a row by Brett, by the mm -hmm. way. And Brett was using that lunch to his advantage, making sure that he's able to put the remote bomb on the platform, psych out Sonic Fiend into having to neutral get up or roll in. A perfect trap by Sonic Brett, but however, Sonic Fiend might. Oh, that wouldn't kill though. Brett was off stage, but Sonic Fiend wasn't able to get too much out of it. Forward smash the other direction. Not going to be getting the kill. Oh, that uh, is yeah. though. That spring put Brett in a bad position. He wasn't able to uh, use his remote bomb for recovery. He chose instead to go for the hero spin. Mm -hmm. But the up air is going to be catching Sonic Fiend. Even, even percent game two or uh, stock two. Oh, tr tried to stop the, the spin dash, but yeah, didn't Sonic get, get the punish it. Just a little bit faster. Oh no. Yeah, Sonic Fiend is now in his, in his groove. You can very tell more comfortable with the matchup at the moment. Getting out of those uh those um. Those uh, attacks from um, from Brett, can yeah, those jabs. Oof. Yeah, he's he's found Brett's uh, rhythm right now. Oh. And right there, uh, that turnaround spin charge. Can be getting Brett's second stock. Brett now on his uh, his winner's side stock. Not All right, really Brett to get Brett. Sonic Fiend off stage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, dash attack though. Laggy option, but he's putting more damage uh -oh. on Brett. Again, as you can see, Sonic Fiend being really comfortable on the ledges, making sure that he's able to close out a lot of Brett's stock from the ledges. Oh, that up he's not going to do much against Sonic Fiend. Only at 58%, Sonic Fiend second stock, Brett 80% last stock. He and has to seeing, be really careful. We're seeing when Sonic Fiend is, uh, you know, charging a lot of premature options from Brett. You know, rolling in is, you know, the Sonic can just react to that every single time. Mm -hmm. The, multi the multiple jumps on the on his uh, his um his spring, please. 
make it, it can be a tough oh. mix-up to deal with sometimes. Right at 143 right now, though. Plenty of things could do it, especially now that Brett is off stage, but finds his way back to center. I'm sure that Fiend's gonna try to do a back air or, you know, jump him in the air and just finish it out as, he, as much as he could. Or even do it again in like the second game, do a throw, uh, throw kill. Yeah, I think it. And oh. again, rolling in while Sonic Fiend is charging, but back throw is gonna yeah. do it. Beautiful kill throw. Very good, very, very great, those great games from Brett, though. Really playing up, uh, like, his own against Sonic Fiend. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. but yeah, Sonic Fiend, you can tell he was very comfortable in the third game, just knowing exactly when to come in, when to go out, and being the aggressor of, again in, uh, in this matchup. Mm -hmm. But up next, we have Steven and Balls. <laughs> I was trying to laugh, dang it. <laughs> it's okay, I'll be the child. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, it looks like someone in this uh, stream chat typed exclamation point Macharino and put some uh -huh. free money into the pot. Uh -huh. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. I didn't again. I didn't see it, actually. So if you could do it again. Yeah, I was looking away. I was actually looking away. You should do it again. I blinked.